This is the Whole Care Network. Helping you tell your story one podcast at a time. Content presented in the following podcast is for information purposes only. Views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of the host and guest and may not represent the views and opinions of the Whole Care Network. Always consult with your physician for any medical advice and always consult with your attorney for any legal advice. And thank you for listening to the Whole Care Network. This is Isabel Melgarejo, and I am your host for Time to Care the Caregivers podcast. Today, I want to talk about the holidays because in a few days, I celebrate Christmas, and in a few days, Christmas is going to happen. As we move forward in this holiday season, maybe you celebrate something else, and maybe you don't celebrate anything. But I have found that as a caregiver, this time of year can be very overwhelming and I discover that since my first year of being a caregiver when I was 20 and I noticed that during this time of year we as caregivers feel very lonely and we feel very isolated so that's something that I want to share with you today I want to share my thoughts let's get started My first year as a caregiver, my siblings, they all decided to spend Christmas with mom and myself. And then, because they all had things to do with with their in-laws, I was left without nothing to do for New Year's with mom. She was, as I have mentioned before, she was in a very, very rough state with a great depression and I was sad as well I had lost my dad I had been responsible for a lot of things that I didn't think I would be responsible at the age of 20 that responsibility came to me from one day to another and I was honestly feeling very isolated very alone and I was feeling that I had way too many responsibilities on my plate and I just wanted to to quit, honestly. I just didn't want to be responsible for one more day. I didn't want to make, I didn't want to feel responsible for making the holidays a special day. And then if we were going somewhere, it was always the pressure about what you're doing and what you're not. And those things that you're doing, you're doing wrong. And the things that you're you're not doing why you're not doing them and I'm pretty sure you can relate with this because this is exactly how we feel as caregivers there are tons of eyes on us judging every action or not action that we take and then we are being judged for how we respond to the environment and nobody pays attention to us Nobody wonders if we're feeling tired, if we feel that we just want to sleep and we just want to rest or if our needs are being met. And these feelings, I know that they happen throughout the full year, but especially during the holidays. I just want to share with you what I went through when I was younger and I want to let you know that I'm here with you, that I share with you these moments of stress, these moments of of not knowing what to do. I share them with you and I want to be there with you during this journey. And because I know that it's very, very, very tough when you're being judged, when you're being analyzed and criticized and you're on the spot even though you want just to disappear i want to share with you what i learned over the years and the first thing that i learned over the years is to feel confident about what i'm doing you better than nobody else you know what you need and you know what your loved one needs so if that's you 
feel confident that you're doing the right job. And not because someone else comes and tells you that you're not doing the right thing. Don't pay attention to them. Because right in your heart, you know that you're doing the right thing. And if these conversations happen, just walk away from them. Gift yourself the ability to walk away from those conversations. Because it really doesn't matter what you say or if you try to explain anything. The truth is that people won't understand. So just walk away. Change the topic. Talk about the weather. Talk about the book you're reading. Talk about their life. Ask them questions about what they're doing, what they have done, their New Year's resolutions, I don't know, whatever it is, just don't make it about yourself, make it about them. And this helped me a lot throughout many years because I stopped being criticized and analyzed for what I was doing and what I was not. It took me a good chunk of time to realize that today when I go through my journey and the people that I've been surrounding myself. I think this is a very common topic over the holidays that that we are asked how much of our checklist in life we have done. Have you are you married? If not, why not? Where is your boyfriend? Why why are you still single? Why don't you have kids? You should have kids. Oh, you already have a kid. Now it's time for you to have another one. You can't just have one kid. Your kid needs a sibling. And eventually we all have all this checklist that society puts on us. And it is very, very taxing. And as a caregiver, it is taxing as well. What have you done? How is your mom? Is she feeling better? Why haven't you taken to this doctor? Oh, I recommend you to go to this place. And why don't you try this therapy? And why don't you, I don't know, whatever it is. But I think you got my point. That is what I want to share with you. I just want to let you know that it really doesn't matter what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. And I believe in you. And I believe that you can have an amazing life. That you can enjoy this road as much as I have been enjoying the road of being a caregiver. And... I want to share this road with you because it took me several years to find the right path and I don't want you to spend several years finding yours. So this is why I'm here and I'm here to to share the road with you for as long as you need. I hope you have a very happy holiday season. This is a very short episode because (laughs) you've heard my voice. Talk to you next time. This is the Whole Care Network. Helping you tell your story one podcast at a time.